Hello friends, I hope you liked the first uh, part of the video on sono salpingography using sono view showing the normal delineation of the fallopian tubes. In this second part, let us see some abnormal cases and also advantages over X-ray based salpingography and saline. This is a case with history of primary infertility of more than two years. The adnics appear clear and a small cyst seen in the left ovary. Injection of the Sonoview contrast agent showed this cyst in the left ovary which was filled up with the contrast medium. So what we thought of as a cyst was actually a hydrosalpinx and in fact there's a hydrosalpinx on the right side as well which was not seen on 2D examination. And we can see here bilateral hydrosalpings and with the contrast persisting within the hydrosalpings. This is a delayed post contrast study after about five minutes, which still showed the contrast within the hydrosalpings. This is another case of a left hydrosalpings showing a beaded appearance. This is the terminal fallopian tube and a delayed spill was seen after about 5 to 8 minutes and a delayed periovarian diffusion. In this case you can see the contrast flowing in the right fallopian tube right up to the fibrial end and an immediate spill. But on the left side there is no flow of the contrast beyond the corneal end suggestive of a left corneal block. This is a case with history of three failed IUI and normal bilateral spin was seen in both the adnixa which showed that the fallopian tubes were patent. An examination of the endometrial canal after installation of saline showed presence of thick synechae within it which was the cause of the infertility and the failed IUI. This is another case with thick synechae within the uterine cavity. And this is an endometrial polyp which was not seen on the 2D examination and which was the cause of infertility. So the advantages of Sonoview over HSG and also saline are that the fallopian tubes are very well delineated with Sonoview. The morphology of the tubes can also be evaluated especially with 3D reconstruction. Bilateral corneal spasm and pain is a limitation. But this was much less with Sonoview as compared to saline and even HSG because very small quantity of contrast as small as 2cc was enough to evaluate the tubes and also the spill. It is expensive costing about 6000 rupees for an ampule but it can be cost effective if two to three patients can be pulled in at the same time because just 2cc is enough to delineate the fallopian tubes. Large studies have reported that 3D hysterocontrast salpingography is a safe outpatient procedure, highly accurate with 100% sensitivity, 67% specificity, 89% positive predictive value, and 100% negative predict predictive value for tubal patency, and about 91% concordance rate with laparoscopy. So in conclusion, SSG with Sonoview is an accurate method for determination of fallopian tube patency but is highly operator dependent. It has a high positive and negative predictive value. It is a simple OPD procedure for initial workup of patients with infertility. Invasive diagnostic laparoscopy can be avoided if the tubes are patent and can be used in only selected patients. Mild to moderate pain was seen in some of our patients but well tolerated and there was no vasovagal reaction or any infection in any of our patients. It has a therapeutic effect also as some of our patients conceived after the procedure, especially after the flushing of the fallopian tubes. The uterine cavity, the ovaries and the adixa can be evaluated for other abnormalities as well. And it helps in management decisions uh, whether IUI or IVF should be used. Thank you.